R3D2 is the RF risk reduction deployment demonstration. And what we're doing on this mission primarily is demonstrating a new high compaction ratio deployable antenna. So an antenna has a lot of different uses for DoD. One example is communication. The antenna and the power you have in the satellite dictates what size of antenna you need on the ground to receive it. So the bigger the antenna you can have in space, the smaller the one can be on the ground. Fitting that very big antenna into a smaller satellite makes the satellite less expensive and allows us to leverage different types of launch vehicles that maybe we wouldn't be able to use for bigger satellites. So once it reaches orbit, the first thing we try to do is gain communication with the satellite. Once we've done that, we'll deploy our solar arrays, and then the small container on the top of the satellite is where the antenna is housed. So it has four different carbon fiber deployment mechanisms that will go out on each corner. And then it has a pantograph, which is a shape that kind of looks like an accordion, around the outside that will expand. And then we will begin to see how flat the antenna is. We'll do some assessments from the ground to see what it might be able to transmit. And what's really making the antenna work is the copper etchings on top of the Kapton. So Kapton looks a lot like cellophane you might have in an Easter basket. And so it's a great place to hold the copper, which is what is reflecting the energy and it's just set into the capton. And so when electromagnetic radiation hits the antenna, it acts like a parabola and focuses that energy instead of acting like a flat plane.